Welcome, Welcome to, to Mom, Mom vs. Chef. The competition where a professional chef and a mom cook head to head, preparing the best dishes possible, featuring one secret ingredient. The first competitor today is Lene Brody. I'm Lene Brody, and I'm mom to a 23 month old son named Ace. Since I've become a mom, my son takes naps during the day, and I have turned to watching lots of cooking shows, so it's fun to experiment, and sometimes he likes them and sometimes he hates them. Since the last Thanksgiving we just had, I cooked a few uh, Thanksgiving dishes and people were really impressed, so I think it kind of put me as a legitimate contender in my family to actually be a cook. So winning this competition would just further my legitimacy with my family in the kitchen. And competing against Lene is professional chef Anthony Karen. I'm Chef Anthony Karen. I'm the chef founder and one of the owners of 800 Degrees Neapolitan Pizzeria, and I've been a chef for 20 years. I uh, grew up cooking for my family ever since the age of about five, and when I was in college, I got a job Job in a local diner and since that time like I just fell in love with cooking I've never looked back. I think the, the strategy is to go with relatively simple flavors but to use some technique that's got some wow. Winning mom versus chef to me would uh, be some bragging rights because my best friend has been on mom versus chef as the chef and he lost. Welcome Lene, welcome chef. Today you're going to be competing to see who can create the tastiest dish featuring one secret ingredient. Let me introduce you to our panel of judges. My name is Miley and I'm eight years old. My favorite food is is watermelon. My name is Stella, I am nine years old, and my favorite food is spaghetti tacos. And your final judge is me. I'm Andrew, I'm 25 years old, and my favorite food is Brussels sprouts. Jeffs, are you ready to find out what today's secret ingredient is? Whatever you cook today has to feature it. I can't promise it will be easy. Stella, will you do the honors? Ooh. Jeffs, today your secret ingredient is cauliflower. You guys like cauliflower? I don't like cauliflower because it smells like old nasty farts. Do you have a favorite vegetable? No. What about you? I like corn. Lene, do your kids like cauliflower? Don't think I've ever given my kid cauliflower. It's not my favorite vegetable. Well, honestly, I think it's, it's a little bit of a boring flavor. To make it more interesting, we're gonna focus on adding some flavor to it. Chef, you have 30 minutes to cook your food. And your time starts now. I have zero experience cooking with cauliflower. I don't even know if I know how to properly cut it. I have used a food processor before. Today I'm going to be cooking a goat cheese cauliflower fried ball. Kids love fried food and I feel like when you're a mom you'll do anything to get your kids to eat their vegetables. I've worked with cauliflower a lot over the 20 years. Very versatile vegetable. So I'm going to make a cauliflower souffle. It'll puff up nicely in the oven and then when we bring it to the table We'll poke a hole in the top and pour in some cheddar cheese sauce. I'm starting to do everything that I need to do. I begin learning, <laughs> teaching myself how to properly chop it. I'm trying to get all the green off. And then I'm going to throw it into the food processor and pulse it just to make sure that there's no chunky pieces left. I need to get this cauliflower steamed right away. The steaming process is going to take a while. Now that I've got the cauliflower in the steamer, I can focus on the souffle base, a classic French pat -a choux made with roux, so flour and butter, and then milk. I am adding some sea salt, black pepper, oregano, and dried parsley because I just always cook with those at home. So I'm stirring the pot and I'm realizing that the burner doesn't feel super hot. So I just decided to pump it all the way up and I'm really hoping it doesn't burn because I think that will completely ruin my dish. Chef, you have 15 minutes. Keep on cooking. 15 minutes. I am taking my steamed cauliflower, which is now nice and tender, processing that down to a smooth puree. So now I've got my souffle base has come together. Um, we've beat the pat -a choux the corn, and the cauliflower together, and we're gonna start to fold in the egg whites. I, I noticed that one of the judges, Miley, said that her favorite vegetable was corn, so we decided to uh, throw some of that in there to hopefully maybe buy a vote. So now I'm taking our souffle molds and I'm buttering them with soft butter. I'm filling each one uh, with the souffle and egg white base mixture. And take our tray and we'll the oven. In this other bowl, I'm going to mix about three quarters of a cup and a tablespoon of flour one egg, garlic, and the juice of a fresh lemon. Can we go look what they're cooking? Yeah, let's go look. You guys check on Chef Anthony and I'll go see what Lene is doing. So what oh, are you hi. making? Have you ever heard of a, a, a chocolate souffle? Yes. No. It's kind of like that, but it's not going to be sweet. It's going to be savory or salty, okay? It smells like mostly like cauliflower and corn. Good. I thought you were going to say fart. It smells like egg. Sandwich. It's got a lot of eggs in it, so it's no surprise. Thank you, Chef. Oh, you're yeah, welcome. Thank you. I hope you like it. Hey, Lene. Hi. So what's your strategy uh, 
trying to get the kids to eat the cauliflower. I've hidden it with a lot of goat cheese, which is nice and creamy, honey to make it a little bit sweet. So what is your strategy in terms of getting me to like this? I feel like goat cheese is the best ingredient. Not everybody likes goat cheese. I have yet to meet someone who doesn't like goat cheese. Good luck with the rest of your cooking. Thank you. Chefs, you have five minutes remaining. Good, got everything working. I'm gonna go check my souffle, but we're just gonna um, get these plates ready first. I'm now going to take an ice cream scooper and scoop some of this mixture into this hot pan of canola oils. I flip them after two minutes on each side and then I put them on the plate. I'm gonna turn my attention to the cheese sauce. When I present the dish after the souffle is, is fully baked and risen out of the souffle mold, I'm gonna poke a hole in the top of the souffle and pour in the cheddar cheese sauce. I crumble some goat cheese on top and drizzle some honey as well. Five, Five four, three, two, two one. Time's up. Jeffs, your time is up. Stop working. Lene, can you please describe your dish? So that is a cauliflower and goat cheese fritter. So what I did is I pulsed the cauliflower in a food processor. I did a dry fry for about 15 minutes, let that cool off, and then threw it in the mixture, and then we deep fried them. It's like salty and sweet, and I really like the honey. Can't really taste cauliflower at all, which I guess that's good, right? I like it crunchy. I think it gives it like a little bit more taste to all of it. It does not taste like cauliflower. It tastes like pancakes. I would want my mom to make this. It reminds me of like a Greek cheese pie. It's really tasty. Thank you, Lene. We're ready to try Chef Anthony's food. Watch out, this is very hot, so don't touch the ceramic. Cauliflower souffle, pureed cauliflower to the pat of choux, folded egg whites to give the souffle its lift and loft. Now we're gonna just make a little hole and pour in some cheese sauce. Can you taste the cauliflower in this? Not really. I like fluffy things, and I also really love corn and cheese. The cheese sauce is really amazing. I used to eat these chicken pot pies, these microwavable chicken pot pies as a kid, and this is like the best version of that, but with cheese poured on top. And the melted cheese reminds me of mac and cheese. I think every kid loves mac and cheese. But not every kid, my sister doesn't. You know how sisters are. Annoying. Thanks, Chef Anthony. Chefs, thank you for preparing some delicious food for us. All right, thank you. You guys can take a break while we decide on the tastiest dish. So how'd you think you did? I think it went pretty well, how about you? Yeah, I was pretty happy with it. I liked your dish a lot. I thought, you know, with the crispy fritter thing, the kids were gonna love that. Your cheese sauce looked really oh, incredible. Th thank you. Yeah, hopefully the hopefully the souffle wasn't over their heads. Well, great job. Yeah, you I thought too. your dish was amazing, so uh, best of luck and yeah. tough, tough competition. I know, good Let's luck. See who wins. Yeah. So what do you guys think? I think Lene had a really great dish because I really like the texture and the sweetness of her dish. Like if you want it for lunch, you can just pack it up in a box and it, like it doesn't fall or anything like that. They were both very tasty. Chef Anthony's kind of all came together. I think I liked the way his tasted more. And, and it was really fun to eat. I liked that it was really like puffy. It felt like I was eating a cupcake. I think you know who won. Let's bring out the chefs. Welcome back, chefs. We've decided on a winner. So you both cooked some amazing dishes today. Unfortunately, we can only have one winner. Chef Anthony, we think your dish was very tasty. But we think that Chef Lene's dish was more tasty. -er. Chef Lene, you've won Mom versus Chef. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> you know, coming into it, I didn't think I was going to be able to beat a chef, but I did it. I can't wait to tell my family that I won and make this for them and show them what a great cook I actually can be. Thank you. So obviously I was a little disappointed that I did not win Mom versus Chef. I was really hoping for some bragging rights as, as my best friend is a chef who's also appeared on Mom versus Chef. And uh, he lost two. Thank you both for coming and cooking for us today. You both prepared some amazing dishes. What will our secret ingredient be next episode? I don't know. What do you guys want it to be? Rice. Maybe rice. This has been Mom versus Chef. Oh yes!